The salamander family, Ambistomatidae, only exist in North America, nowhere else in the world. These are large salamanders, some measuring up to a foot long. They are typically not seen because they burrow and are nocturnal, hence the name mole salamanders. They are a new family of salamanders originating after the end Cretaceous extinction, fossils being known from the Oligocene. There are a number of features which distinguish them, including what are known as costal grooves or vertical grooves along their sides. Adults of this spotted salamander are migrating to vernal pools in order to lay their eggs. In this family, the uh, larvae are aquatic and possess external gills. Interestingly, spotted salamanders were the first vertebrate known to actually possess endosymbiotic algae living inside their cells. And the green alga, actually named Ophelia, the egg lover, helps the egg and developing embryo uh, obtain sugar and oxygen while the developing uh, larva is uh, producing carbon dioxide and nitrogenous waste. And so thus the egg masses appear green. Larvae possess external gills while they are developing in the vernal pool until the time when they undergo metamorphosis to the adult stage which will burrow in the forest floor. Some species never undergo this metamorphosis and adults are aquatic and retain these external gills. This is known as pedomorphosis when juvenile uh, traits are retained in the adult stage. The axolotl from Mexico is a famous example of this. The species Ambistoma andersoni is also a pedomorphic species where adults retain these juvenile features of gills and it is only known from one site in Mexico being critically endangered of extinction and threatened by habitat loss and water pollution. Unfortunately, many species in this family have declining numbers and some are on the United States endangered species list such as the California tiger salamander, and eight species are considered to be critically endangered, like this Mexican species threatened by human water usage and pollution.